Yeah, Let we haven't heard anything like yeah, this. It's very different. So you do have your own lane. So if you want to continue with what you're doing already and you've got people out there that like what you do, hell yeah, just try and keep doing it better. But uh, we've given you our thoughts and we hope that you can take that on board in a way that can positively influence your music. Yeah, seriously. I uh, hope it's valuable. Thank you for supporting us. If yeah, any of you guys you want much. to um, get us to review your music in this Unknown Artist segment, just email us, junglebeatsmedia at gmail.com. Hey! Think so. Hey! Your legs feels tough like a grizzly bone breed. And my credit score has changed. Credit score? Yeah. Anyway, we're Jungle Beats. Yo, what I'm up? Alexander Sandalis, aka Poncho Sand. I'm Fluffle Butt 8. And we together are Australia's plug to. The hardest cocks in the country. Ooh, nice. Anyway, we're up here reviewing <laughs> another unknown artist. Um, obviously, nothing gay about two guys sitting five feet away from each other on a couch. Wearing poncho. Ring an unknown artist. Um, Mr. G is his name. Mr. Grimes, poet warrior. Wait, wait. So is his name Mr. Grimes, poet warrior, or Mr. G? Sorry, he, he he's Mr. Grimes, poet warrior is his name. Ah, why would you say Mr. G? Because Mr. G is his name, and he emailed us. So he, <laughs> Mr. G emailed us, and he's like, "Hey, I'd love to get on your unknown artist," and so this hmm. is what people can do. They support us financially. We give you guys uh, a review. Hunted. That's so, what we do. Now, Mr. Grimes, Poet Warrior. He, just to give a little description, from the shadows of the South, dwells a performer known as Mr. Grimes, Poet Warrior. Theoretical and inspiring, a mixture of science fiction, poetry, and philosophy. The performance art comes together in a superhero form. We have three tracks mm-hmm. by this young Man. And we have no idea what to expect. No. His, his art, cover art is interesting. I'll show you in a second. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to start out with Rinse It Out, Anti-Parasite Mix. That's a, that's a mouthful. Show us the artwork. So this is the, this is the cover, which is pretty cool. That's real cool. So your cover's now dope. Spit out of your mouth. Make you look foolish. Being a parasite is not a good choice. Those wicked ways get defeated Cutting you loose because you can't hold me back Cutting you loose because you can't hold me back Where's he from? Every time I turn around, you're there You wanna milk a cow, you wanna rinse it out Every time I turn around, you're there You wanna milk a cow, jump it around like a damn shit I got the yeah, last one so. You trying to make a fool out of me But I just should have sense of humor A touch of frost, detective closing the case no more rinse out, no more money to waste You better take some advice from Dizzy Rascal Fix up, stop acting like a damn crackhead <laughs> Every time I turn around, you're there You wanna milk the cow, you wanna rinse it out You're there, you wanna milk the cow, you wanna rinse it out Sounds like I'm touching two dicks down, down, down. No. You're there, you wanna milk the cow, you wanna rinse it out Every time I turn around, you're there You wanna milk the cow, you wanna rinse Didn't need to repeat it. So I was just showing Alexander Mann here some of your performance art on Instagram. Um, That's cool as fuck. Look at those clouds. I love the background. Obviously, you've found a nice place in London and you've kind of... Uh, Is he doing like meditating? It looks like stuff? some form of Tai Chi. Yeah. Obviously mixed with the superhero flavor, which it's obviously... Like, it's like Luke Bay Fiasco doing Wushu. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of actually. Yeah, yeah. I want to start off with, with the kind of... The, the Pasana, like the, the, I love, I feel like we'd have a lot in common, like sharing like common interests, like maybe comics, superheroes, movies, Marvel, Hunted. video games. I'm all about that shit. Um, and the cover's super dope, whoever yeah. you got to make it. The album cover's amazing. So it's kind of got you as the hero. You kind of like, looks very inspired by Zarface, Inspector Deck, like very similar. So, which I really fuck with. And then the enemy is like this, this green sort of like. We'll put Insect, it on the insectoid, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really cool cover. Whoever designed that for you did a dope job. To the track. track. I really like the beat. Uh, the the drums are very 80s, so it has a real 80s feel to it. But then it, and then it kind of has this um, like I can imagine someone like, say like more like a, a new school Wu Tang or maybe like Aesop Rock on there. So they, they kind of give me that feel to it. So that's what I like about the track. But lyrically, personally, I have no idea what you're rapping or rapping singing about. Um. The milk the cow hook 
Mm. I'm still confused. I didn't think it needed a repeat in the end. Yeah, way too hook heavy. And I didn't really enjoy the hook that much. Yeah, didn't really get the Milk the Cow reference. We could look it up, but maybe it's a UK thing. I feel thing. like typing in Milk the Cow in Google is <laughs> bad, not really going to help. <laughs> it's a bad idea. I'm pretty sure it means like... Yeah, I have no clue. <laughs> yeah, okay. So you're going to have to enlighten us on that. Um, but I'm looking forward to... Just getting a bit more of your vibe through these mm, more tracks. Yeah, as terms of your vocals so far, they don't sound pleasing. It kind of sounds a little like, wonky. Like he's talking into the mic or he's... It mm. sounds like a sort of company, a comic book. It, it kind of sounds more narrative than anything. Narrative. So talking, yes. Yeah, but like it's not enjoyable to me. The only thing I really enjoyed was the production, but we'll listen more. We'll see what we can hear. The steam, more heat. Yeah, I was going to say. Again! <laughs> so here's the, the cover. I'm writing this poem to some troopers. Lock up his speech with the red cages. Demons. Pull out the red tape. We have hit them with the vapors. Hit them with the vapors. Have to let off some steam. I ain't got the time. They got scared of some schemes. Hit them with the vapors. Have to let off some steam. Is it going to be like a hook song again? Don't you know? Too much Mickey Mouse is bad for your health. You can't damage my career. I operate in into self mode to get that into your thick skull. Take <laughs> that negative crap back to South Korea. Frustrated, my words detonate, and your arrogance is wiped out. Hit them with the vapors, have to let us some steam. I ain't got time for your scares and schemes. Hit them with the vapors, have to let us some steam. I ain't got time for your scares and schemes. Release the repeat like ludicrous. So roll out of my business. Be strong, my brother. Don't complain about a bruise. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Hit them with the vapors, have to let us some steam. I ain't got time for your scares and schemes. So, this is from his earlier, this is some earlier mm. work by him right here. Um, Once again, very hook heavy, as you mentioned. And I definitely hear inspirations, uh, once again, from early productions. Like the, before, we got, I got a lot of 80s feels from drums. This is more early 90s. Very early 90s filled up with these drums. Like, and even like. More so me, like those are very like sort of D child sort of drums. So um, he's definitely uh, production wise inspired by a more early age. And even the flow he uses is from like, like sort of early 90s rap, like rapping like this, like it's very sort of yeah. earlier rap, like LL Cool J sort of ish. Th there you go. That's a great little point out. So obviously this is not something we typically listen to yeah, much yeah, now. Yeah. So he's definitely inspired from an age of music, which is past. In, which, is, which is fine. Which is fine. Um, just like our last Unknown yeah. Artist. Um, didn't like this beat as much as the last one, which made it a lot harder to enjoy. And as you mentioned, very hook heavy. I'm not a big fan of you with these hooks that are just pretty much one to two lines repeating themselves four to five times. It's, it, it can be done well in a way when it's catchy, infectious, and enjoyable. It's neither of any of these. I mean, is that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah. neither of any of those. You said that right. So... And even when with some of your lines, like the way that you use your the way that you use your vocals, it's to me it's not enjoyable. Like once again, it's very narrative. It kind of feels like I'm listening to you tell a story, but not in a way that I want to listen. And I we I don't really particularly, and I'm sure Alex Alexander Man feels the same. I don't really particularly understand the story you're trying to tell. Mm. Like I feel like this could be done really creatively, but I just don't understand where you're going with it. Yeah, it kind of feels like you're mentioning certain scenes or clips or memories or whatever, but then it kind of just switches up to like another sort of line. But that's, we could be completely wrong. We might be paying attention, but that's kind of how I feel. So not really enjoying overall. I can hear, I can hear what you're kind of trying to do, but not kind of delivering in a way that I really enjoy. Last one, reboot still rising. Very 80s, this is very 80s again. And repeat it again, wait for it. <laughs> That's his structuring. Yeah. That's what he does. Like a like a rebellion track. You know what? I think this music 
would be great for like an animated animation, like like on uh, a children's animation. Once again, with the artwork of your albums, it's really dope. Really, whoever does your artwork, even if it's you, like all three singles, especially the first single, uh, looks amazing. Uh, but once again here, your hook, I've, I've started to see the way that you do your hooks. They're kind of like, they're kind of like the, the bass line and the main focus of the song. Yep. Uh, don't really enjoy the way you go about it, but hey, if you dig it and other people dig it, that's what matters. Now, to continue what I was saying, I think that you should, your music is made for animated television shows, like, like uh, targeted for the youth. But like action drama based, so like That's very specific. Is that a, is that sarcasm? What? No, no. That means it's a very specific. Like I don't know, like like Spider Man, nineteen ninety four TV series. I'm trying to th I'm trying to look at one. I'm trying to look one up now that that I feel like it would suit. But um, yeah, I could hear this like in the background of, of like something like Johnny Quest. Look at that, like kind of that vibe. I could hear the production and you're right, maybe maybe even the hook because the hook kind of has that inspiring, like that track to me just felt like I was in a rebellion. Like I was rebelling against like, like, I, like you said, like I'm a superhero rebelling against the uprising, which, you know, you're sticking up for the small populace, like Robin like Hood. Like He-Man, the Masters of the Universe. Oh, like something, damn. Something I like said, that. Hey, 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 hey. Freakazoid. I like, said, hey. Thundercats. What's going on? Come on, you gotta know that one, bro. Nah, I don't. That's the YouTube classic, bro. Bro. Um, something like that. Once you know? again, drums, super 80s, very 80s inspired. Uh, I like the production on here. The production on here is super dope. But uh, to close it off in terms of you as an artist, I, I'm, I, I'm not a big fan of the way that you deliver voc vocally. Um, to me, it's not very enjoyable. It's more like in a robotic sense. Like it's sort of like I'm listening, but I just don't want to pay it. I don't know. It's like, that's just kind of how I feel. I feel like if you want to go about this in this manner, I'm trying to think what you'd want, what, what to do that would make it more appealing. I don't think, oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I, I feel like it'd be such a drastic change in style that it wouldn't even be him. No, I feel what, that's the thing. I feel like maybe... I feel like voice alteration always helps with these sort of things because you're taking a more superhero and, and, and comical approach to it. I feel like voice alteration can like, like Daft Punk sort of ish. You know how they alter a lot with that robot. I feel like doing that with this sort of production could make it more intriguing. Okay. There's one. For me, you could, you could t try and tell more of a story through your lyrics, mm. like actually try and tell a comic book story through the yeah. track and or go, I would recommend, go to small television animation shows, YouTube shows, like Transformers, um, 1984, 1987 type yeah, shows. Transformers is a good, that would suit it perfectly. Exactly, that's why I was trying to look for something like that. Go yeah. to them, submit your music, get feedback from them, because I feel like that's what would be suitable for and you could make a potential career out of that. Done. Um, yeah, and also if you want to go, I think maybe, like I said, focusing more on storytelling, less hook. Your, your music's very hook heavy and I don't, th I think that's the biggest uh, drawback for me like that's the thing that throws me off your music the most so focusing more on either verse even just like making it more production heavy the old production's really dope I think maybe even letting that speak more so than your vocals but uh, I, think, I think that's all I gotta really give at the moment like nonetheless like it's it's very different yeah we maybe, haven't heard anything like yeah, this it's very different so you do have your own lane so if you want to continue with what you're doing already and you've got people out there that like what you do hell yeah just try and keep doing it better but uh, we've given you our thoughts and we hope that you can take that on board in a way that can positively influence your music. Yeah, seriously. I uh, hope it's valuable. Thank you for supporting us. Yeah, if any of you guys you want much. to um, get us to review your music in this Unknown Artist segment, just email us, junglebeatsmedia at gmail.com. Or join our Patreon. See ya! <laughs>